Hey everyone, this is Meg with a new breed of video today. I came up with this because I wanted to talk about the darkness and realised that it wasn't old enough to be a last gen game and it wasn't current enough to be a current release game review. So this is going to be a new sort of series, I guess, or type of video, which I'll call Games Revisited. And today I will be, as I said before, talking about the darkness. The story's depressing, there's no two ways around that. You play Jackie Estacado, who is an orphan, and he's now on the blacklist of Paulie Franchetti, who is his kind of, I want to say surrogate father, because he's not, but he saved him from the orphanage and planted him into the life of crime. So he actually is working for the Franchetti family. It's just now he's on the blacklist. Gosh, mobs are so indecisive. The game deals with different levels, many different levels of darkness, as the title suggests. Jackie himself is not necessarily an evil person, but he's not a good person either. He's a bad guy who deals with bad people. Even the environments are very seedy and just dirty looking. The light, though, of the story, I guess, is Jenny, who is Jackie's girlfriend. I think they grew up in St. Mary's Orphanage together, and she is the only really redeeming quality in his life. You can see that even though they keep each other at a safe distance, they do care for each other very, very much, and she is integral to the story uh, in a very subtle way. And then of course on a more basic level, the darkness refers to the darkness, which is a godlike power that has taken over Jackie. Now there are lots of uh, points in the game where you feel like you're working with uh, the darkness, but it constantly shows you that you are in fact its puppet. You're not really working with anyone, you're working for it. And that's another really nice touch to the story. You feel very helpless. I wanted to mention here as well, on a little side note, that the loading screens in the darkness aren't wasted. They're filled with a kind of monologue it's just a black screen with Jackie standing there, either smoking a cigar or holding a gun or whatever it is, and he'll talk about something, anything, usually referring to what's going on in the plot line. And I like this because you can get right into his mind. Overall, the story deals with dark themes like suicide and hell and damnation. It doesn't preoccupy itself with trying to entertain the audience or the player with overdoses of comedy and gimmicks. And when the darkness itself is actually presented, the story is just dragged into an even deeper, darker place where the path before Jackie is very unclear and it's paved with gore and death. And I think though, however depressing this may sound, it's what makes the game so utterly compelling because it's very dark have I said that already? And it's heart-wrenching. Should've listened to your Uncle Paulie, Jackie. Now put him down, nice and slow. Gameplay is a pain <laughs> to get to grips with. I don't think I've seen anyone that started playing the game without having some difficulty, not with the combat, i.e. the weaponry, but controlling the darkness seems to be very hard to get to grips with, myself included. It's quite jerky and awkward, but the good news is once you do get used to it, it does become second nature. You can carry up to two weapons in the game, and it works really well. I feel the mechanics for shooting specifically are very, very smooth and very natural, and it also helps in shooting the lights out because obviously the darkness, the creature that has uh, overcome you, uh, the darkness is an absence of light. And when a light is on, it hurts the darkness and starts to limit its powers. So you can use the guns not only to uh, kill your adversaries if they're getting in your way, but you can also shoot out the surrounding lights in the area. Now even though, as I said earlier, utilizing the darkness can be a bit awkward, it's still a really great mechanic. Overall, it's very interesting and very fun. Uh, for example, Jackie can utilize the darkness's very primal uh, powers. I think there's one where you can sort of snake around 
using one of the heads and devour people when they're not looking. That one's fun. And you can also skewer them with a demon arm like cocktail sausages. And you can also summon darklings from certain spots. And then these little minions for you that fight for you, point you in the right direction, that sort of thing. And they also offer the only piece of light comedy. For example, I think one of them said, Ah, sleep. Time to dream and piss. Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but they are kind of kooky fun, which is good because it's the only kooky fun you'll find in the game. <laughs> and there's something distinctly primal and satisfying about devouring your enemies' hearts. And this makes me sound like an absolute crazy person. But the atmosphere that this monster creates is unmatched in other games. For example, occasionally in game, once you've devoured a heart, the two hydra-like heads will fight over it in front of you, or occasionally one will sort of suck it through its teeth with this snarled lip right at you as if to disgust you on purpose. I have to give them full credit for creating this, this being that just feels unlike anything else you've seen in a game, and kudos too to Mike Patton who is the voice of the darkness and in essence brings it to life, and the sound guys, because as soon as the darkness starts talking to you, the way it's been set up, it almost feels like it's in your own head. There are also collectibles to pick up in-game. You'll find shiny pages around the verse, and to access these collectibles, after picking it up, you have to take it to a phone box. You dial numbers that kind of crop up. Uh, they'll say collectible number. And afterwards, if you access the extras menu after you've done this, you'll find excerpts from the Top Cow comic as well as other Top Cow titles like Witchblade. So the gameplay is good and it has some good points, but it also has some not so good points. As I said before, the gunfighting is very smooth and very fun. Utilising the darkness though can be very hard to get to grips with, but once you've gotten over the challenge of getting used to it, it's ultimately satisfying in my opinion. You need to learn who's calling the shots in this family. In fact, I got a surprise for you on your birthday. The graphics to me were the only real letdown. I felt like the character models were a little bit bland and undetailed. The environments are okay as well, but like the character models, they can feel blank at times. I do, however, think that the best level out of the game, bar none, is the limbo level. It just has a richness and these textures and the feel of it, it's just so different from the rest of the game, which I gather was the point. The game, as I said before, deals with themes of darkness. So in the everyday world, it is very bland and empty and dark. And I think that's what they were trying to achieve. I just, it looked careless. It looked a bit sloppy to me. Overall, I like the graphics but it's not my favourite element in-game. Stay away, Jackie! This is not for you. I thought the score was really great. Um, I've said before in another video that I'm a real big fan of the comic series, and I feel like the developers of the Darkness game really scored it the way better than I would have imagined. They, they hit the nail on the head in creating the same atmosphere, the same ambience that was in the comic book. And I love it, I think it's really great. There's some really sad tracks in there, like Jenny's theme, which is just beautiful to listen to and very simple too. There are also some heavy rock music as, uh, uh, pieces sorry, that I mentioned before, and those are usually reserved for when you're devouring people with the darkness. And there are some really scary ambient tracks, so I think the score is very well-rounded. and it draws out a very visceral response from you, which is very rare in in any score, really. I wanted to mention the main theme as well, quickly, before I forget. It's a song that I've been listening to for a very long time on repeat. It's actually called Captain Midnight by Tomahawk, and it's a great piece of music. And if you want a feel for what the game is like, but can't be bothered to play the demo, can't be bothered to watch gameplay videos, listen to that song, and it'll give you the overall feeling of the of the video game. 
It's my handy tip for the day. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I had to move really quickly. But before I go, I want to address something that a few people have been asking me in reference to the darkness. And that's a lot of people like to or want to play it, but they can't find it for a reasonable price. And I just wanted to share a few places that I would recommend. And I got my copy of The Darkness. This is pre-owned, but it's in great condition. The front cover's really wonderful. And the disc is in great condition. I got this from CEX for four pounds, as you can probably tell. And yes, this is pre-owned, but it's in great condition. They always test their CDs, so they never sell you anything that's uh, defunct. And another site that I would highly recommend is play.com. Now, I'm pretty sure that they actually ship to other countries now. I know that it's free UK delivery, and I know, or I think, that it's a UK-based company. But they always sell games new and used for very reasonable prices. They've never failed me, I think they're a great site. So, I would recommend play.com as well. So, I hope that was helpful to any of you. I know you've been asking a lot about this. This is to my subscribers that you know who you are. and. Yes, I hope you really enjoyed the review. Um, if you have a chance to play it, I'd really love to hear what you think. If you've played it already, again, please let me know what you think. And here's to The Darkness 2. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so pumped for it. It's like, ugh, I'm buzzing. So, yes, I will see you all in my next video on Tuesday. Thank you for watching. Bye! Oh wow, makes me look like I've got a pod. I don't. <laughs> I like wearing burlap sacks. Damn it, I could have got all that out and then I said walking. It's not what I wanted to say. Blah, Jackie. Eh, eh, eh. I think it's a Franchetti crime family. Ow. <laughs> if I could swallow food whole like a snake, I'd be great. Gameplay, I haven't even finished it yet. What am I doing? Ah, oh, hair, stupid. Ooh, donkey. <laughs> uh. Right, anyway, <laughs> where was I?